Hey there, thanks for joining me. In this video, we're gonna talk about Black Friday and getting ready for Black Friday and not stressing about Black Friday. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like us. And you know, every year people get stressed out about Black Friday and e-commerce, and I'll tell you, we have customers that are startups, we have, I have clients that are $50 million or, or higher, and uh, it's stressful for everybody, and you always feel like you haven't done enough. So one thing I want to just say is don't stress out. You know, you're only going to do what you're going to do, and we're all a work in progress. But success always comes down to process, in my opinion. So here's a process that you can follow to ready yourself for Black Friday. And if some of these are beyond you, don't feel bad. Like I said, we're all a work in progress. Do what you can do. Exhale. And we'll learn from it no matter what. No matter how good or bad our results are, we're going to learn from it. And we're just going to get better and better as we go, right? So number one, start out with picking a product. So obviously, everybody's expecting a discount on products on Black Friday. Don't undercut the idea of bundles, though, because you can, instead of just taking a, cut, a haircut on one product, you could say, if you buy these two products together or buy these three products in a bundle, then you could save money. And this can be a great way to build a higher average order value and maybe not lose money on the deal. Maybe you can actually make money just because they're buying more at the same time. So think about bundles. Um, once you've figured out what you want to actually discount for Black Friday, create memorable coupon codes. Make them easy to spell. Put them in all caps. Don't do uppercase, lowercase. Don't do lowercase. Just put them in all caps. It's easy for them to read. It's easy for them to understand it, what it is. And they don't have to worry about typing it in and getting difficult. Just use all caps, easy to use, memorable codes. Create your coupons in your e-commerce system, whatever e-commerce system that is, preferably Shopify or BigCommerce, but create those in there. And the next step is to create three emails that you're going to send out. Now, I know that you may not have been sending emails out this year. A lot of people that I talk to feel a little subconscious about this. Everybody sets up an email program. Some people don't even do that. And, you know, they accrue emails, but they just kind of go nowhere. Well, this is a good time to make them go somewhere. So start out by creating three emails and you want to create specifically one for before Black Friday, one for on Black Friday, and one for on Cyber Monday. Now you can obviously create more than that, but I'm trying to keep it simple uh, because I don't want to overwhelm. So start out just creating three emails. If you need help writing them or if you just want inspiration or if you just want to make it quicker, type into GPT, hey, I'm trying to send out a, a flyer about this, create three emails for me or create three variations on each of those emails for me and use that to, to give you to give yourself some uh, easy choices and decide what you want these emails to say. One thing that you want to be sure to use is urgency. So verbiage like hurry, get it while it lasts, while supplies last, uh, limited, hurry, don't wait, that kind of stuff. Uh, Black Friday only is all good, right? If you can include, I mean, if you can get fancy and include a timer on your site or a timer in your email, that's really cool. You don't have to, but doing something to create urgency, super, super important because this obviously is a, is a one time a year event, right? Once you have the, once you have the, the wording for your emails, you can go ahead and set that up or have somebody on your team set it up. I recommend using a system like Klaviyo. We install Klaviyo. If you guys need help, you can reach out. But, um, no matter what, you want to set these up ahead of time. Uh, you can take that same wording and now say, okay, now I know what my emails are going to say. Let's create some Facebook ads and some Insta ads and ads for, well, it doesn't have to be ads. It could just be social posts, but let's create some posts for wherever we are social. You know, you already have the words. You just need some pictures and that could be just product pictures or lifestyle pictures. Just marry that stuff up. By doing the emails first, by getting the content first, it's going to make your social stuff that much easier. Now, once you have all of your emails, all of your Facebook ads or your Facebook social posts, whatever you're going to do, queue that stuff up ahead of time. So you don't want to be waking up on Black Friday when all of your family's like bugging you or doing this on Thanksgiving. You know, you can queue up things ahead of time on all, <laughs> on all the social platforms or if you're using a program. Uh, to post them. You can, I mean, you can always queue this stuff up early. You can queue up your emails in advance, obviously. <clears throat> so queue that stuff up early so that you're not going to be, you know, stressing out about it on the day of. There's always other things that you can do on the day of, 
what I've found is that the more stuff I get out of the way before the day of, the the more that I can do those little last minute things that might make a big difference because I have time to the day of, which is really cool. So schedule it out ahead of time. Okay, so now we know what we're going to sell. We know, uh, you know what our messages are. We have all that stuff queued up. The next thing to do is actually test our site. Now, I think store owners don't do this enough, but you should just periodically test your site. Test purchase something for you. F test purchase something from you. <laughs> from you for you? It doesn't matter. Run a test purchase through with a real dollar amount. Go through the, the actions of adding something to your cart, viewing your cart, viewing your checkout, putting your cart in, you know, seeing seeing what all that stuff is because it might not be, you know, it might not be the same as it was last time you looked at it, right? So test it right before the big show, test it, just make sure it's ready to go. If there's anything weird, snuff it out before it's um, before it's time. In addition to testing a purchase, you're you're basically testing your site, you're testing your your checkout, test your coupon, make sure the coupon code works. Don't ever send out a coupon code without testing it in your site. So test the coupon, you know, put your website, homepage, your category page, your product page through a tool like PageSpeed Insights. See if there's anything weird happening or if it's super, super slow. Maybe there's some last minute things you can fix to optimize it a little bit for speed. Um, once you've tested your site and your checkout and your coupons, go back and take a look at your abandoned cart sequence. Now, if you're still using the default abandoned cart sequence from your you know, from your store framework, that's going to be pretty weak in comparison to using a third-party abandoned sequence, third-party abandoned cart sequence, like what you can do through Klaviyo. Now, it may or may not be too late to switch to something like Klaviyo, and you probably don't want to make a big switch like that right before, you know, the holiday anyway. But what you want is you want to end up having an abandoned cart sequence that looks good, that has good custom messaging, has a really great, uh, subject line so people open it. If you can A-B test your subject line, even better. But this is a, a good time. Just give it one last check. Make sure it's it's good to go. And if you can dial something up in your abandoned cart sequence, you know, all the better. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we want to craft some messaging for your site. Now, you've already got the messaging. You've already done the emails and the, and the social posts and all that kind of stuff. So what you need to do now is just be ready with some kind of message uh, for your top bar or wherever you're going to promote this on your site. And you do want to promote it on your site. So most people at this point have like a top bar at the top of their site or maybe a, a, an announcement bar right underneath their menu where you can write a quick message like view our Black Friday specials, Black Friday specials going fast, something like that. Um, so just have something ready that you can point that to. Create a quick page, put your specials in it, be ready to point that to that page day of. And last but not least, like I said at the beginning, don't stress. Everybody stresses about Black Friday, no matter what size you are. It's always going to be stressful. And just do your best. And what I recommend is keep some kind of journal or some, some kind of notes. I use a, a system called Notion to keep track of things. And so whenever I go to a trade show or do something like Black Friday, I always keep notes in there of what I'm going to do and then notes after I do it to say, this is what I wish I had done differently. This is what I want to do better next year. And if you get into a really good habit of this, then next year when it's time to do this, you can just look back at this year's notes and it'll be that much easier next year because you won't forget those things or you'll take advantage of those ideas that you had that you, you would otherwise forget about between now and next year. Okay, so that should get you guys started. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. I have some Black Friday specials. I'll leave a link below, but if you guys have ever been interested in working with my team for design development, I have a huge special to save you money on a design and build. I have a huge special over my, I have a huge special on my coaching program and on my courses as well. So no matter what you're interested in doing with me, there's a way to save this Black Friday. Check out the link and learn more about it. All right. Thanks so much.